Thank you for calling the Foley Club Hotel. This is Diana. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I was wondering if you have any rooms available for tonight. I don't. I'm actually sold out tonight. Oh, you are? Okay. Thank you. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Gotta try another. fire drill going on right now is because I can't check into my hotel until 3 o'clock and right now it's like 12. Get some food and hit the sun, seriously. Now I am going to go climb a summit called Mount Olympus and apparently it's supposed to be really hard so I'm excited. It should take like four hours and then we'll see what happens. I miss the Tesla so much. I mean I am backing up right now and the camera that it's showing me for the backup is not even close to what Elon provided to me when I was in California but it's fine. I need a Tesla in my life so. Let's go on adventure. Um, I'm just changing my shoesies because I'm climbing a summit and I'm gonna need some better shoes. I also need to change my shirt because it's like 100 degrees outside. It's like really hot. So I'm getting kind of nervous about this summit, <laughs> but it's fine. You gotta just like go for it, you know? One thing that I did want to talk about this morning, like before I left, I was so so nervous like i actually felt like i was gonna vomit and i wasn't hungry and when i'm not hungry like there's something deeply wrong but not sure what i'm doing here and i'm trying to see if the mountains speak to me the beach i know speaks to me it speaks to my heart i love driving in the mountains it's one of my favorite things so it's something about just going to a new place that literally 
everyone I know has never been to Salt Lake City. Everyone's like super concerned, like you're gonna drive to Yellowstone. Or, oh my gosh, you're renting a car. Even the car dealer guy was like, oh my gosh, you're, are you here for work or like you, you seem really young. And I'm just, what, why does it matter? Like I'm paying you money, right? In this trip, I'm going to validate if it makes sense to get a house in the mountains too, or on the mountains. The objective though really is to just jump out of your comfort zone, climb out of your comfort zone, if you get that. Okay, so this thing, when they said there was elevation, they were not kidding. Okay, so I'm here at the trailhead of Mount Olympus, which is one of the most challenging hikes in Salt Lake City, Utah, so I figured it might just be the best one to conquer. I'm gonna go get some macaroni after this, I'm super excited. Okay, so I found another cliff that's just like the one in California, a little bit larger in scale, but it's bringing back memories. This is like Los Angeles, but expanded, not with all of the food. <laughs> We're capitalizing on the mountain concept. Okay, I am so dehydrated right now. This is not even funny. Nostalgic Cafe. Hi, um, I was just wondering, um, do you guys have that vegan macaroni and cheese? We do, yeah. Oh, okay, perfect.
honestly, it wasn't life-changing. That's okay, you can't win them all. Okay? I got a vegan scone. We're gonna go chase the sunset. I'm so excited. I found a really good spot. It's called Inside Peak. It's supposed to have views of like the entire Salt Lake and blueberry. I'll just try a little bit. Mmm, that's so good. Spotted a Tesla that is matte. Do you see that? I am shook. find the sunset, capture it, and really enjoy it is very successful so far. Get ready, it's gonna be legendary. So apparently there's a better uh, to go to, so we're gonna go walk like 20 minutes at the speed walk to get there. Oh my God, I'm nervous. the sunset over the water too. I know it's kind of dark and you can't see me. This is terrible quality. I'm having like a weird moment. I'm feeling more lost being in the mountains. I feel like really alone right now. D doing these solo trips make me feel so alive. There's times where I just get very lonely and that's kind of hard for me to say because i'm an advocate of really trying to be my own rock which is an uphill battle and it's not easy um but this is just to say that this is real life and you don't feel 100 percent all the time there's going to be a weird like throw up feeling in your stomach a lot of times when you are jumping out of your comfort zone you might feel alone sometimes but it, it's not forever I feel like I'm gonna vomit right now. Um, I have to go to my hotel and I'm worried it's not gonna be a nice hotel. Cause I did some research last night before it was too late to cancel that this place is like a total dump. Like what brings you to Salt Lake tonight? Um, just traveling and uh, some of my hotel plans kind of fell through. So just looking for a place to stay okay. tonight. All right, I have a king room available. The internet rate on that is 204 plus tax. Got it. Um, I see online there was something for 99. Really? Yeah. Uh, do you mind hanging on one just a second? Let me do some research. I'll be yeah, right back. No problem. Good, good. I just went to my hotel and it ended up being a complete trash pit saw people breaking into a car, I saw a drug deal going on, and I saw a ton of homeless people like shooting up heroin. Uh, that was literally terrifying. I just need to find a decently safe place to stay. Thank you for calling Comfort Inn downtown in Salt Lake City. You just wondering, do you have any rooms available for tonight? Oh my god. I just need a place to stay. For how many people? I literally just talked to, I think like four or five different hotels. Uh, they're like either A, 
we don't have a room available at all b they said yeah our room is like 300 dollars per night i kind of feel like defeated a little bit but also like i find this super entertaining i'll never forget and it's a lot of learning lessons that i'm going through right now like i'd rather be doing this and trying to like figure things out lose money by learning things and just sitting in my apartment and doing the same old same old sunrise is supposed to show up like right here uh, so far i'm not super impressed with the sunsets and sunrises here in utah uh, i do love the mountains though and today's going to be amazing okay do you see the mountains in the back oh my god okay so it's i'm being attacked by bees right now <gasps> Yesterday when I had a uh, toast, it had honey on it and the honey went on the camera. <sighs> All right, so the sunrise trail is just that it's a trail. It is really pretty to see the sun kind of hit the mountain. So what I'm gonna do is walk to this little uh, waterfall thing, a very popular mile long nature walk to a steep cascade of pools of water. There's no right or wrong path in life. It's all up to you. I mean, we all have a different trail, a different path that we're on. And sometimes there's a bump in the road, like a literal rock in the road that's going to stop you from the trajectory, the momentum that you've built. You also have to realize that you can find another path or you can walk around the rock or the stump in the road or whatever is kind of slowing you down and realize that the view on the other side is magnificent. <laughs>
Okay, so my car was just broken into and all of my stuff was stolen. The wallet, my passport, all of my credit cards, my cash, my gift cards, like everything. So now all I have is $20. I have to be able to make it home and get through the airport before 3 o'clock. I am now driving to the airport. I mean, the only positive thing of this is I'll get a new map. I wanted to get myself a new one. Everything's going to be okay. I just returned the car. Uh, I had insurance on it, so that's good. I'm just going back. I already canceled my ticket. It's at 3 10. Hello. Please contact with a face mask. Thank you for your cooperation. So with my last $20, I bought a euro. Basically, when you lose all your belongings, you realize that they're just material items that you can purchase again. There's no sweat, you know? Obviously, it's not fun to lose items. You know, things happen. Unfortunate things happen. Small things like this beautiful euro, it just means that much more to you. And along the way, I met a lot of interesting people. You know, a nice cop, uh, the guy at Hertz running a car was so nice. Um, this is good. This is like problem solving 101.